please let me know right away. I went and reset my router, did a speed check. It seems to be a lot better. The first speed check I did, I got 0.6 for the upload. And now I got um, 11 for the upload, so it should be better. While I'm waiting to see who joins us, I know there's probably less people joining us the second time. I did get my Battle Cat for my custom this weekend, so he's ready. And uh, for those that are wondering what the custom is, we are going to change the ankles on here so they'll be able to articulate. I have some parts ordered, they should be here soon. And then uh, with that new Battle Cat, I'll be able to do that and, not, and still have a Battle Cat that's not uh, destroyed. So... There we go. So let's go ahead and jump into the same video. And if this video works out okay, I will delete the first one. So those of you that uh, came the first time, sorry about that. Hopefully this time it's much clearer. Let me know if it looks blurry. Let's go ahead and start with the question. So the question was, hi, I think I found your YouTube channel. Nice. I haven't had a chance to check everything out, but I was wondering, which is off for a second. Oh, no, it doesn't help too much. Uh, but I was just wondering if Classics Figures Arms can be removed using the boil and pop method. Specifically, uh, Battleground Tila. I want to know if the arms can be removed so her bra, uh, so I, no, can, can, can be removed to remove her bra so I can put the Classics Tila look armor on her. But I don't want to cut it off so I can swap back and forth. She also has different hips than previous figures, so can her legs still be removed? Hoping you know the answers. Ha uh ha. -huh. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this. I know some of you guys are like, what? He just did this video. I know I had a blurry video last time, so I decided to reshoot it. And, uh, oh, hey, Babs. Babs, Britt, thanks for joining us. L let me know if this looks blurry to you or not, or if it's clear. So the first question we need to tackle, and that is, how do you take off this brassiere that she's wearing, um, bustier, whatever you call them, bikini top, um, off of this figure? So first is, is are the arms removable? And the question, the answer is no. They actually have a shoulder pin that goes all the way in and has a barrel on it on the inside of her, of her plastic, hard plastic body. So you can't remove them. One way you could remove them, which is kind of a bad way to do it, is you could heat it up and take a razor blade and slice inside here to cut off the pin and then pull her shoulders off. Not a good idea. Another place you can remove it is right here at this joint by heating it up and pulling it off. But again, not really the best way. Hey, thanks Babs, I appreciate it. And then, uh, so to get this off, what you wanna do is on the back, very carefully, is you wanna take and uh, heat this up and pull off this little nub right here from that connection. And basically it's just glued in with their glue they use in the factory. Let me get the other one so I can show you guys how it looks once it's been pulled off. So you can see there's actually a little hole and a bump and they go together now it doesn't lock in place unfortunately or snap in place but you can still uh, put a dab of glue in there and put it back together on the figure now you'll see I have a kind of a hard time stretching this to get it to fit back on what you would have to do is heat it up and then stretch it and it'll go back on then and then just put a one little drop of super glue in the hole and then push it over or you can just leave it like I do right here just undone and back and there you go so don't cut it off. It's not the best way to do it. Um, the best way to do it again is to uh, just take off that one side. And once you do, you can then just slide it off her arms and then pull it right off. So there you go. Ta -da. So the next question was, are her legs removable? Now on these legs, unfortunately, let me grab this figure to show you. It's the same figure, it's a cool custom I made. Is uh, usually there's a cut right here on a bunch of the female figure's legs. They have some sort of piece that goes over that cut so you don't see it. But in this figure, so it was aesthetically pleasing, they removed that turning cut right here. So the only place it's connected is way up high. And again, just like the shoulder, you could heat it up, take a razor blade, cut the pin, and then pull it off. But that's not the best way to do it. Basically, the legs are not removable. Neither is the waist where the hip is either. It's pretty much stuck in that spot. So there's your, there's your answer. And just as a cool little thing I want to show you guys, here's some customs I made from Battleground Tila. I made two Princess Leia type figures. Of course, her in her uh, um, slave suit and then her in her white suit that we saw her in in A New Hope. So um, it's for my uh, video, uh, Laser Guns and Roses. So check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. And let's go ahead and now talk about how to put this armor on. So 
This armor will not fit over this blonde hair very easily. It won't fit over at all. It'd take a lot of sanding, cutting, stretching, and best way would be to take her hair off, you want to use this head to put that on. Um, it was originally made for this head right here. It comes with the gold helmet. And in fact, it doesn't even fit over the tealess head that has the regular hair. I took and forced one to fit on there by heating it super hot and then shoving it on there to reshape it so it fits onto a regular Tila head because I wanted it to fit on one without the silver helmet. And you can see the difference in the back of how one of them is uh, pretty deformed. This one right here that go way up over the ponytail and the shover head in there was extremely difficult. So it did work, but to get it over the blonde hair, it would take an awful lot. It's not even close. I don't see how that could actually work. But again, if you took the hair off, or replace it with something else, you could make it work. All right, so once you have her bra off, to put it back on, you just string it through each arm or bikini top. Ugh. Of course, it's not working because I'm sitting here on video and everyone's watching while I fumble around. There you go. And then once it's on there, you could pull it around and reconnect it. But again, I didn't heat it up so it doesn't stretch very easily. Now there are a couple figures that do have removable arms and they are trap jaw. His arms are removable and also optic. His arms are also removable. But besides those two, I don't know of any other figures that have removable arms. All right. Uh, that's pretty much all that I have. Hopefully this video came out a lot better than the last one. I'll, I'll delete the other one. So just one. And, uh, I'll put a link in the video description for laser guns and roses so you guys can see these cool figures and how I use them for my video. And I think that's about it. Like, subscribe. Don't forget this weekend, hopefully, if it all goes well, I'll articulate the Battle Cat. Because my friend, um, a joker from the north, he, uh, he figured out how to do this. Now, it's funny, he got the inspiration from me talking about it. But he actually did all the legwork and figured out what parts match color-wise and size-wise to make these parts articulate. And I'm kind of excited about doing it. So this weekend, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have it out to show you guys. And uh, that's all I got. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. And sorry about the first video. So that's all I got. Bye now.